Hello and welcome Aries. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right. So today we're going to be, well I should say for this week, um, but of course the readings are timeless. But these are going to be kind of things like, ah, <laughs> that went unsaid. Um, like maybe things you wish you would have said. This could play out from your perspective, from your person's perspective, but something that just is going unsaid. This could even be like, you know, somebody crushing on you or, you know, you're crushing on somebody. All right, but keep in mind, these are general readings. Okay, no flipped. Um, these are general readings, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take that. Yeah, I'm feeling it. All right, so bottom of the deck is the Hierophant card. So the Hierophant can be in, I keep getting, because somebody's already in a relationship. Hmm. But then I keep getting somebody wants like a committed relationship here with you. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Three of Swords, and then we have the Nine of Cups. All right, so Aries, what I keep getting is there's definitely some fear here. That's kind of holding somebody back from making an offer. Um, there could possibly be like a third party situation. Now, remember, third party does not have to mean a person necessarily. It could mean like maybe I'm trying to work on some things for myself. Maybe I'm trying to further my education, further my you know career, um, whatever you know is trying to fill up your own cup. This could be you. This could be your person. But again, I do feel like somebody is kind of working on themselves. I do feel like, you know, there's a little bit of fear here. I feel like this person wants to go forward with a commitment or wants to make that offer. But again, something's kind of holding them back. It could even be fear of rejection, fear of um, heartbreak. It kind of feels like either you or this person have had like a pretty rough or pretty rocky like relationship history because I keep getting like a lot of fear of like, I want to make this effort. I want to make this, uh, this offer, but it's like, I just can't do it yet. Yeah. So we have the nine of cups here and then we have the 10 of cups here. So talking about wish fulfillment, you know, wanting to be seen, wanting to be recognized, recognizing like you give me happiness, you make me happy, you know, we could build this together. Um, but it feels like something's got an end. Somebody's got to release something. Somebody's got to let something go. Whether this is another person and another relationship, maybe this is kind of, you know, putting the past behind us, you know, kind of starting over. So for some of you, this could be talking about a reconciliation. Yeah. Then we have the Nine of Cups again. We have the uh, Lover's card, and then we have the Page of Swords. All right, so yeah, so somebody definitely wants to open up communication. But again, I just feel like there's little to no action. It's like I'm trying, and I tell you like a little bit of something, but I'm not telling you fully like how I feel. I'm not telling you fully, like, you know, you do make me happy, but, you know, something is kind of keeping me back. Um, something is keeping me from really giving you this commitment. I feel very connected to you. I want this. There's an attraction here. There's a connection here. But with the Page of Swords, like I said, little to no action is being taken, and I feel like it's partly due to fear. Somebody could be healing right now. So maybe that's why they're trying to take things slow. It's like they don't want to rush into anything. They just want to kind of take things, you know, nice and easy. All right, clarifying the Three of Swords, we have the Two of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and then the Ten of Swords. So again, really needing to put an end to something, really needing to release something. This could be releasing, you know, heartbreak and pain from the past. This could be somebody just recently lost somebody, somebody still in mourning. Again, I am kind of picking up that somebody's in like a healing process. So again, this doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, a romantic relationship. This could be maybe a family member has passed and this person is currently kind of mourning. And so that's in the forefront right now. And a relationship, you know, just isn't ideal, you know, at this time. 
Um, so even though they feel this connection with you, you know, they just can't commit to that, you know, putting the relationship right now, you know, again, because of their mourning. Um, I do feel like, you know, again, this is kind of going back and forth like I want to, but I just can't right now. I do feel like this is a timing issue. I feel like there's feelings here. For sure, but I just feel like this person isn't telling you. This person isn't really opening up communication or, you know, telling you their feelings. All right, we have the chariot. We have the ace of wands and judgment. Okay. So that's all clarifying the nine of cups. So, yeah, so, you know, somebody is saying, like, you know, Wish fulfillment, a new beginning, starting over, you know, giving uh, giving this a second chance. Again, for some of you, this is talking about, you know, reconciling a relationship. For others of you, this is talking about just giving yourself a second chance, whether this is you or this person. You know, somebody's not fully being upfront and open with their emotions. Um, you know, they know they want this, but again, I feel like it's kind of a timing situation. Because it's like, I need to find some balance before I can move forward. It's like, I want this. I feel that attraction. I feel that excitement. I definitely want this. But I just can't do it yet. I still have something else I need to take care of. All right. All right, let's get some messages from this person. So what is not being said? What are, wow, okay. <laughs> um, so you are worthy of so much more than what I can give you right now. Yeah, like I said, I was really kind of feeling like this person... Um, you know, again, they're just, they're figuring some things out. They've got to handle something else, you know, first. There are other people that don't want us to be together. Okay, so again, kind of going along with that third-party situation. You know, third-party doesn't always mean, you know, like cheating or somebody's like stepping outside, you know, of a relationship. It means, you know, like a third energy is here. Um, so whether it's like, you know, gossip, you know, chattering friends, family that don't want you two together, um, whether it's, you know, just trying to, you know, further that education. So that's an energy, you know, it's going to be different, like I said, for everybody, but I do feel like there is a third energy here that really is just kind of blocking the two of you from moving this relationship forward. Um, so it's easier to pretend that everything is okay right now than to deal with what I'm feeling. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, and like I said, I feel like that's just because this person is kind of in the process of healing. All right, so what else needs to be said that has not been said? Okay, we've got a few here. Um, so I keep being drawn back to you, and I can't quite explain why. So like I said, there's that connection here. You know, there's that that magnetism. Um you know, just like being drawn to you, like, I really like you, we're vibing, but, you know, just something like, I can't do it right now, but I can't let you go either. Then we have mountains, so something or someone is standing in between us right now. So again, for some of you, this could possibly be, you know, another person, possibly another relationship. But, you know, again, for others of you, this is just talking about, you know, family or friends, you know, just some kind of outside situation that's really just kind of blocking the way. I keep getting for some of you, too. Um, this is a long distance relationship, so it's like kind of a lot of things kind of going on, you know, especially with like, you know, um, everything that's going on in the world, you know, stuff like that that's going on. It's like that's kind of in the way and it's just like one thing after the next. So you're still trying to figure out like how to continue this and it's like one person, well, both of you really have feelings here, but it's like one person is really kind of refraining from letting themselves fall too deep or really say how much they truly do care about you because, what if something goes wrong? You know, I keep getting that thought like in the back of their head, like what if something goes wrong? What if they get tired of waiting? What if we can't solve this? All right, so then we have stubborn, dot, 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 and then foolish. I feel like an idiot for the choices I've made. I wasn't thinking clearly at the time. So again, for, um, for me, I keep getting for some of you guys, this particular card is talking about someone who does have a relationship. So you know, and it's like they develop feelings for you or, you know, again, this is you and you develop feelings for someone else. Um, you know, again, take it how it resonates. But I do feel there is a stubborn type of energy. So, all right. Like I said, there's definitely some regrets here. OK, 
Okay, what else is not being said? Okay. We have, I've never forgotten you even though you think I have. Okay. All right, so then I want to take another card. Just kind of seeing like, what is preventing this this person, we know something's kind of in the way here, but you know, what else is really kind of keeping this person just like from saying what they really want to say? Manipulation. Okay, and then we have cowardly, I believe. Yeah, cowardly on the bottom, um, but manipulation. So again, there could be some kind of gossip. There could be some talk, you know, kind of, you know, in an inner circle, you know, like around this relationship, like, oh, that person really isn't for you. That person, you know, I heard so-and-so is doing this. I seen so-and-so out with this person, you know, just some kind of gossip, some kind of manipulation to really kind of, again, drive that wedge between the two of you or just create some kind of conflict, create, you know, some questions, some uncertainty, so, you know, again, I do feel like there is manipulation. I don't feel like it's from you and this person. I feel like it's outside of the relationship. All right, so I do want to get a timing card just to kind of see when this person's going to reach out next, you know, to actually open up. So when is this person going to open up and say how they truly feel? Just around the corner, bottom of the deck, be patient. All right, so you know what? I think this person is going to, you know, especially with judgment card, you know, that's making a big decision here. So making that decision, you know, and just around the corner, I feel like they have to make that, you know, that call to go ahead and say, you know what? I can't keep this to myself. I want to, you know, tell Aries how I truly feel. All right, so now let's get some dice about this situation, kind of what's going on. Okay, so we do have scared, so a little bit of fear here. We also have fate. Uh, you belong to me. And then we have summer. So maybe you met this person in the summer, or, you know, maybe the relationship actually gets a fair shot, kind of takes off, you know, in summer months of this year. Um, you belong to me. Again, there's a strong connection here between you and this person. You both kind of feel like this is, you know, faded, like this is a really good partnership here. Um, but there's just a little bit of fear. And I feel like that fear, you know, that being scared is definitely because of that manipulation and because of some kind of outside interference with this connection. So, all right, Aries, that is what I have for you. So thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great rest of the week. And as always, Take care.